Hello, my name is Tyler Morley, and this is my second video presentation covering the topic of Netflix. As of September 9, 2015, Netflix had approximately 65 million customers in 50 different countries. Netflix is a global internet TV networking website offering movies, TV series, and documentaries commercial free. With unlimited viewing on any internet connection for an affordable price of $7.99 a month. Netflix was founded in 1997 and their headquarters are still in Los Gatos, California. In 1997, Netflix was born as a DVD rental by firm company and spent the first five years struggling to get a sustainable model that was showing positive cash flows each year. They spent the most of the next five years fighting with a company called Blockbuster to control the market in the United States. In 2007, Netflix began streaming and it also delivered its 1 billionth DVD. By 2010, Netflix shifted their business model from a rent by mail to an online video streaming company. Within months, the company had shifted from the fastest growing customer service to the biggest source of internet traffic in North America. I would say Netflix became a rare but partially difficult company to manipulate. Netflix dominates the, on the streaming market and was able to untap a market with a video streaming that has never been tapped before. Netflix spent the first, Netflix at first was in the market that was so difficult to manipulate, but now they have competition from, from Hulu, Amazon Prime, and even HBO. Netflix still has the largest SVOD, subscription to video on demand, provider in the US and is rapidly expanding overseas. In the past two years, Netflix has funded over 13 of their own generated TV series, such as House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, and my new favorite, Scandal. These programs have enabled them to create their own shows at their own cost, at a substantial lower price than paying for the rights of other TV series, which I'll go over later. Netflix has made it clear that they are specifically a TV series, movie, or documentary provider which has also expanded into the children's sections of cartoons, which has made it very beneficial for all the families. Netflix in the, in the past year, Netflix has controlled the complete downstream nighttime viewing at a rapid 35% of views in the evening. On average, the American family spends 90 minutes a day for online viewing, and that is a huge increase of 350% since 2012. Another advantage is their employee count and which was a huge reason why Blockbuster went under. With 2,189 employees compared to the 60,000 employees that Blockbuster had. At the time of competition, Block Netflix had nine factory stores around the country compared to the 9,000 stores that Blockbuster had, which not only did they have to purchase and supply movies and TV shows, but they also had to cost, maintain, and employee all of those stores. This is a market that became rapidly too expensive for Blockbuster and a market that was so cheap for Netflix they were able to change their business model. I would say Netflix has serious competi competitive challenges arising. As Blockbuster went bankruptcy, the trend now is turning to cloud computing and online video streaming for entertainment. With companies like Hulu, Amazon Prime, and HBO, the one competitive advantage for Hulu is that they update their TV series on a nightly viewing compared to Netflix who displays their TV shows within seasons at a time. This is something that Netflix should consider to make the next jump in their next business model to, uploading t to upload TV series nightly. But they have invested so much time and money into their own TV series which is why I think they are not wasting their time uploading movies instantly. Netflix, like I said, controls the video streaming market with their high quality products and has enabled them to constantly bully the streaming market. Their only problem is that, they, that it's hard to afford non-Netflix shows. Like the show Blacklist, it's listed that it costs Netflix roughly $1.35 million to upload one episode at a time. When it comes to the value line, Netflix covers all the values to be a successful company in my mind. Under raw materials and creating their own shows to get more attention, to get more viewers, as well as cut all their costs, which it, instead of buying companies, buying TV shows from other companies. 
when it comes to operations, they have the best quality of video streaming in the cleanest, easiest, and which I think is better than movie quality type, if not better. They're finished goods. Americans spend, on average, like I said, 90 minutes a night on Netflix. That doesn't happen on purpose. Netflix shows have that pull-in effect, with the automatic start of an episode six seconds after it's finished, and all of Netflix episodes are roughly 40 minutes long. Those are reasons for people to click the next episode instead of the hour-long episodes, which people would never do. Lastly, market and distribution. Netflix has given a cheap monthly cost that I personally don't pay for cable anymore. I have a smartphone to portray all my news and social media to catch on what I need to catch on. And Netflix gives me my nightly entertainment. This is my second video presentation on Netflix. Have a good evening. The sources that I use for this project are Morningstar, Investopedia, the Netflix home website, and also Wikipedia.